Praise the Lord, saints, and welcome back to FFT, Food for Thought Ministries, where we move with purpose in our walk with Christ over here. My name is Rokisha Muhammad, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've been with me since day one, welcome back, family. This is our Thursday night Bible study where we are working out of the book, The Purpose and Power of the Holy Spirit by Miles Monroe. We are on chapter nine, and it is on page. 142, if you are following along, which you should already know that this was a really lengthy lesson, so we're going to jump right on in. We usually start with the questions. It's 21 questions, so we're about to go in, okay? So let's just say a quick prayer before I start. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you, Father God, for the opportunity to come before your people on this day, Lord God. I ask that you cleanse our hearts, Heavenly Father. Remove anything that is not like you, Lord God. Open our spiritual eyes so we may see. Open up our spiritual ears so that we may hear, Lord God. We ask for forgiveness for all our sins, known and unknown. We ask you right now for the spirit of knowledge, for the spirit of understanding, for the spirit of clarity, for the spirit of discernment, and for the spirit of revelation. We give you the glory and we receive it now. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay. So we are on chapter nine, and it is entitled, Results of Reconnection. Results of Reconnection. The success of a fish stays in the water. Amen. So if you don't have a book, we might seem like we're jumping all over the place, but we're going in order. Okay, you just get the book. So our first question is a reflection question, and it is entitled. No, it's not entitled. I don't know why I'm saying that. The question is a reflection question, and it reads. How has your outlook on life changed since you became a kingdom citizen? Are there any areas that have stayed the same that you think should be, I mean, that you think should better reflect the mindset of the kingdom? And so everybody question should be different because this is a reflection question. It wasn't in the book. And I'm going to go first. I don't even know if I answered this right because it was talking about mindset, but I still is still pertinent to what I've got. So I said yes to the first part, which was how is your out, how has your outlook on life changed since you became a kingdom citizen? Lord, have mercy, help me, Jesus. How has your outlook on life changed since you became a Christian citizen? I said my outlook has changed. And the issue um, for me, as far as the area that has stayed the same that I think should be should be better is my weight. I always focus on my weight because it's an issue for me. It's the demon that I'm battling daily. But I put my weight because my body is not my own. I need to take better care of it um, by losing this weight. I'm in the process making major changes and I'm a work in process, progress because my body is not my own. It's the Holy Spirit and this is where he dwells. So I need to make sure that I'm taking care of myself and not just doing what I want to do with my body because it doesn't belong to me. And this is where the Holy Spirit dwells. And if I want to be here a long time, I need to be taking care of myself, right? So for me, that's the area that has stayed the same since I've been in this walk. It's been fluctuating, but I'm working on it. But it's about to be some major, major changes real soon here. So yeah, that's my answer. Amen. I don't know if it was on point, but that's what I got. Amen. 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 Okay, who want to go next? And we're just going to keep the same order as usual. Um, D, you ready? I know you stay uh, ready. I'm ready. Okay, I know you is. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so for reflection for me, I said that I have come to the realization that kingdom principles are important priorities that need to be understood. And so otherwise, it is or it would be difficult to understand fully the message of the Bible if we didn't understand kingdom principles. Uh, so to that, I can safely say that my outlook in life is not in things that are not even first priority in his or God's kingdom. And then so the second part, I said, I do believe that any area uh, that I may have been stuck in 
in the past have been or have had a positive impact on my mindset and uh, maybe even have prompted me to reflect on or in areas that I may have not, may not have thought of or even paid closer attention to. So this study brings me to focus on seeking first the kingdom of God to the forefront as a lifestyle that, um, that are the king's desire as one of his citizens. And I am one of his citizens. So I thank God. I thank God. So to that, uh, I think that's pretty much my answer or my reflection to that answer. Uh, and then there may be areas that I'm not sure of, and I'm working on that. So uh, I say amen. 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 Okay, Wanda, are you ready? Ooh, yeah. Okay, my answer is yes. That um, my, outlook, my outlook on life has changed since I've become um, in the kingdom, you know, as a kingdom citizen. And uh, there, are, there are some areas that, um, hmm, well, yeah, there is some areas that could be better reflected on me in certain things that that's up to me that I have to change that I was looking forward to. But it's things that I have to do to change them, to make it better for me in my life. And um, because at the end of the day, I want my own self stuff. And that consists of, you got, well, I'm not even going to go into that, but um, mm -hmm. and and by me saying that is that I know some things that I have to do to change that. And I'm working on it. It is a work in progress. And it is going to come to pass. And I'm just waiting for it to come. Amen. 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 Okay. Who I got down next? Anne? Okay. I don't know. My answer is, I guess it's totally different than what you guys are saying. Kinda. It's not supposed to be the same, Anne. It's your I own. Know I, mean, it's not, I know it's not supposed to be the same. I'm just saying I took it another way than what you guys are talking about. Like when it said, how has your outlook in life changed? Mine's changed as far as becoming more knowledgeable and understanding more about God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it helped mm -hmm. me to avoid certain temptations and stay clean from sin. Amen. So that's my first part. Okay. And then the second part, I got it as what you are now that is better for the kingdom, not something you want to change. That's what I'm and I put on that one that I'm more kinder <laughs> <laughs> and that I patient mm. and that I do more donations lately than I ever did before. So I do help out a lot. So I'm putting what I'm doing as a positive, not that I need to correct it or do better in it. That's Amen. how I answered that part. Amen. So the Holy Spirit is transforming you. You are transforming because you are applying the word. And that's what yes. you do. Amen. 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 I mean, that's a good thing. You see, oh, God is good. Yeah. Eh? Yes. Good okay, who I have next? I have Frankie. Well, I really didn't answer the question at first, but I'm a, I wrote a few things down. Mostly it's... Um, It says, how has your outlook changed on life since you became a kingdom citizen? Um, my outlook changed. I know I used to be a war reward, but that kind of changed a while back. And then I, I feel like it's changed because I'm more, I have more faith than I probably had before. Continued trusting, you know, being more trusting and having a little bit more faith or a lot more faith. And then also the second part was being satisfied with what I can't change because I used to find myself taking on other people's problems all the time. <laughs> and, and now I'm, I'm more, I can't, I can't change what other people are doing or thinking. I just have to be satisfied with what I know and let go with 
what they're doing. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I can't take on just being satisfied with what I can't change, you know? Amen, because you're trying to change it. You know that's a form of witchcraft. Not so much that I'm trying to change what people are doing, just being satisfied in my own self that, that it's enough for me. Right. Instead of Let them live their life. And not, I'm going to be okay. Not so, much let, not so much even people living their life. Even like, with, with, you know how we at work, and I, I, I got to be satisfied with what I'm dealing with and let the rest of it go. I could only do what I can do and not worry about what I can't do or what I can't change. Yes. So I got to just keep moving with what I know and, right. and let the rest of it go. Not not keep dragging it behind me. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I definitely know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, Wood. Okay, so what I wrote was, um, let me see, my outlook has changed a lot because I've grown a lot and I've learned more about God's word. So I now I know that I can trust God because everything that I was doing before, I was trusting in myself to get it done. But now I know I don't have to get it done. I can just cast my cares to God and God with the Holy Spirit guides me so that, you know, things work out all right. Um, the second part, yeah, there's areas that stayed the same, but the one that I really like most that stayed, stayed the same is my kindness toward people. You know, that hasn't changed at all. You know, um, I could lose some weight <laughs> too, you know, um, but Basically, that's my answer. My kindness to other people has stayed constant since I was a young person. So that's deep embedded in me. And now I have the Holy Spirit to guide me and to help people. So that, you know, that makes my kindness even more. Amen. And that's basically Amen. my answer. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay, Taylor. I said, um, I became a new creation. Old things passed away. And yes, there are some areas that stay the same. But this is something between me and my father, as I am a work in progress. We grow day by day. Amen. 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 Okay, so let's move on to question number two, under exploring principles and purposes. Okay, number two says, what is the first result of reconnection with the heavenly kingdom? And I just said that um, it's a restored relationship with the king father. Amen. Amen. And uh, I said the first result of uh, a restored relationship is with the king father. Amen. Amen. Wanda Riri. And mine also says the first paragraph in the book on page um, 142, the first resort of reconnecting is a resort relationship with the King's Father also. Amen. Amen. And I said that, but I also said it's kind of like we became realigned with our King's Father. And, and it came from... Let's see. Creator. When we become aligned with our realign with our King Father, we are acknowledging I came from you and I must be sustained by you. I depend on you. So that was part of my answer also. That first sentence where it says restored relationship, restored relationship with the King Father, plus the part I just read. Amen. 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 Okay, Frankie. A restored relationship with the King Father. Amen. <laughs> Taylor. No, Francis, but mine's is the same oh. thing. And mine's was the yeah. same thing too. Okay, yeah, it is Francis. I don't know what I'm looking at. Okay. <laughs> Number three. Let's see where we at. It says, well, let's let's just pick somebody because. I was going to say, I think, yeah, we all. 
Okay, so let's just go in this order. We're just going to go in this order. We're just going to round robin. D, Sister D, take number three. All right. Number three says, when the governor enters a person's life, with mm -hmm. what special, specifically, does he connect that person? And I, my answer is, uh, when the governor enters a person's life, he connects that person to his source of life and gives him a relationship with his creator with all the rights and privileges of a number, uh, oh, I'm sorry, of a member of the heavenly royal family. Amen. 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 Anybody have anything different or they added? I just said a relationship with the king. Man. Okay, what you say, Beverly? I mean, Anne, I'm sorry. No, I have basically what she has, and it also says, uh, not just as his king, but also as his heavenly father. He belongs to the king's immediate household now. Amen. Okay. Amen. So Amen. that's how we're going to do it. Um, if anybody got what D said and added, then you can speak. <laughs> if you got the same thing, it's just basically dead up, right? Amen. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to number four, and four is on Wanda. Okay, um, my answer for number four, what is the second result of reconnection with the heavenly kingdom? And my answer is, I put the second result of reconnection is entering into the non-discriminatory and non-parson kingdom. Amen. Amen. Right. Ditto. Amen. Anybody Amen. got anything different? I just said being treated equally. So yeah, just to sum it up. Amen. 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 I also put no longer should people have to go through priests to receive forgiveness from God. No longer would they depend only on prophets to deliver the word of the Lord to them. The spirit should be poured out on them and they would have direct access to the king himself. Amen. 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 Come on, Amen. I do want to read some stuff, but some stuff was good that it needs to get like broken down. So number okay. um, five, who's next? Um, and am I next? Yeah. Okay. Now I hope I got this one right. I got number five. Let me read the thing first. Let's see. Sorry. Number five says. Okay, oh, that's an easy one. Okay. <laughs> Receiving the Holy Spirit into your life makes you, and then it says choose one. And A is better than other people. B is able to hoard the knowledge of the kingdom for yourself. C is a steward of kingdom authority and power. And D is not responsible for telling others about the kingdom message. And I put number C, a steward of kingdom, authority, and power. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You know, Amen. Talking about that was easy. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> number six is Frankie. Okay, it says, what is the third result of reconnection? Um, I put a restored ability to influence the world around us and the ability to influence and control circumstances. Amen. 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 Ditto. Okay, number seven is Haywood. Me? Haywood in the building. Okay. Now let me read the question. It says, what are the two kinds of kingdom authority and how are they defined? So I put um, legal or delegated authority mm -hmm. and the ability authority. Wait a minute. I'm trying to read. Ability authority. One gives you the right to do something. The other gives you the power. Amen. 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 And I just added, one gives you the power to back up authority by accomplishing the mandate or assignment given. Amen. Amen. Well, I added that part on to mine. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. I did too. Amen. So did I. <laughs> yeah, I got that on there too. I just stopped reading. <laughs> number where we at number eight number eight. eight dr monroe explained that the authority of a royal governor was in the name of the sovereign of the country he was serving his own name had no real weight he used the king's name to exercise authority in getting things done how does our influence and authority as kingdom citizens under the governor function in a similar way and i just put we use in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't put that. Oh, yeah, I had <laughs> something Wait. too. Yeah. Okay, so we can just round. round. Yeah. round. Amen. Mm -hmm. So this is good. So I put, um, I said, because what we, I said, because what we now have living inside of us gives us access to all kingdom resources restores our ability authority and power to operate here on earth that's what i put yeah amen and then i put we are to act in the name of jesus the king's son to whom all authority has uh, been given by the father when we work on behalf of the kingdom amen amen, amen. and i and i said <laughs> <laughs> I said, with the spirit of truth, he will teach us all things and remind us of everything that Jesus said to us, and he will guide us into all truth and bring glory to God by taking by taking from what is his oh. and making it known to us. Amen. Yeah, I Amen. put that. Amen. Amen. Okay, I had something else. I had a line drawn, but I didn't read that part. So I'm going to read my part because okay. I forgot. I didn't even read it. I thought it was on another question. But anyway, let me read my whole question altogether. It says, because what we now have living inside of us gives us access to, gives us access to all the kingdom resources, which restores our ability, authority, power to operate here on earth. And it said, God, I said, and God told them, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. For this would bring the power and authority of the kingdom by, like Sister Taylor was saying, by his name. She just shortened his way, way up. I, I really did. And the only reason why I did is because the part that I read, it actually was saying that, you know, the queen had to go. And when she went, you had to go in somebody's name and say they went in the king's name. And see, for us, anything we ask, we ask in Jesus' name. So it ain't, ain't gonna happen. I don't care what you say, what you do, you got to back that up with in Jesus' name. So that you're right. I just summed it up and said, we use in Jesus' name. <laughs> yes, that's, that's our yeah. authority, right? Amen. That's, that's Amen. Amen. She Amen. don't have the power to Amen. do it. So when you say that name, they know. Oh, okay. Right, right, because that name carries a lot of weight. That name yes. is above all names, you know? Right. Amen. So that was really good. Where's that section at? Let me see. Um, I know. I don't even think I marked it because I wrote that, but let me see, too, because um, I remember reading it. Page 148. On page 148. Power, yeah. Um, was this your question, Taylor? Can you read that pair the two paragraphs? Which one? It, or maybe just read all the way down to the bottom. Power in the name? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the authority of a royal governor was in the name of the sovereign country mm -hmm. he was serving. He used that name to exercise authority in getting things done. His mm -hmm. own name had no real weight. He had to speak in the name of the monarch. Mm -hmm. The king's son operated on earth in terms of authority, and he showed us how we are to use his name mm -hmm. and exercise and dominion. He said, I did not speak of my own accord, but the father who sent me commanded me what to say and how to say it. Mm -hmm. The governor functions on earth in a similar way. When Jesus was about to return to the heavenly kingdom, he said of the spirit, but the counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have said to you. But when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will he will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears. And when he tells you what is yet to come, he will bring glory to me by taking 
from what is mine and making it known to you, my Lord. Mm -hmm. All things that belong to the Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will take from what is mine and make it known to you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Ain't that Amen. Wow, that's powerful. Amen. That's powerful. Amen. And, and, but that, but Jesus gave that example. He always was saying, I, I'm, I'm only saying what the Father is saying, or I only do what I see the Father do. So yeah, he was uh -huh. never out of alignment. He never did his own thing. He exactly. was always lined up, never doing his own thing, always doing what God told him to do. My God. Amen. Uh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and he Father. kept telling them, I, this ain't what I'm, <laughs> I'm doing with the Father telling me to do, okay? I mean, so, and it did go farther. It went all the way down to 149, but, you know, that, that it was just powerful, like you said, to know that he lined up, and that's what we have to do. Mm -hmm. In order for you to think that you're going to have authority, you yeah. can't do it on your own. You ain't going to go in your own name. You ain't going to come talk about, well, I said, no, mm -hmm. you're going to say in Jesus' name, whatever you ask. You're going to ask in Jesus' name and it shall be done. But that's the, another thing about that is mm -hmm. people say that and sometimes it's taken out of context because it's only going to happen if you believe. Amen. You could just be talking and just saying words, but if you're not believing what you're saying, you still don't have that authority and that power, even if you are saying it in Jesus' name. So don't you right. know, take it out of context and think just because I'm saying in Jesus' name it's going to happen. Right. You're going to have to believe because God already, he, he knows. He's omnipotent. He knows everything. He already, he know what you're going to say, how you're going to say, if you're going to say it the right way. So don't just, it, it still would be the same thing of thinking that you're saying it on your own and not of the father. Amen. Amen. And then I just want to add this because believing is basically your faith too. And it's impossible to please God without the faith because you have to believe God's word. So if you're not believing what you're speaking, you don't have any faith and it's impossible Period. to please God without faith so you have to believe because that's faith believing the on the word of god right amen, amen. and that power amen. and that authority is not there if you don't amen right it's not because he can't operate in unbelief he can't <laughs> it, it just he had to leave his own town because there's too many unbelievers i gotta go come on now come on bye bye all right <laughs> <Go with it. laughs> okay all right let's go oh it's my turn oh lord i don't even want this one <laughs> you want number nine Okay, let me see. We're on number nine, right? So, yeah. Amen. Number nine says, what statement did Jesus make to his followers showing them that the governor would confirm their authority as legal agents of the kingdom by backing them up with the power of the heavenly government? So I had a couple of things here. I wrote, I wrote an answer on the sticky because I didn't have enough room in my book. <laughs> <laughs> and then I wrote Okay, I'm just gonna read this. What I what I got now for number where my number nine. Yeah, I'm gonna read that. My number nine, I put um. Mm -hmm. Let me just read this sticky first. I said that what he told his disciples. He said, "Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. You must be in a line. You must be aligned with the king of the governor, who confirms that we are legal agents of the kingdom. Kingdom." And then I also, um, um, is that my number nine? Yeah. I also, did I put over here? Um, well, yeah, that's basically it. Because <laughs> it, was the it was just Amen. going through the prayer. Okay, did anybody get something different? I just added I that. And I just, well, what you said, I had. And then I said, we are to act in the name of Jesus and we work on behalf of the kingdom. Amen. 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 Come on, um, Haywood. Well, he said, what did the king father promise would happen when Lucifer in the kingdom of darkness are told to defeat it? He promised that he's going to restore That's not the answer we own? The yeah. earth. To, um, yeah, he he know, is the earth. Land, you know, where we live the way we're supposed to be living <laughs> instead of living in all this sin. <laughs> That's basically it. And that was Are you answering point. number 10, Sister Haywood? Are you answering yeah. number nine? No, huh? she was answering number 10. We're not on 10, honey. We're on number nine. I thought we finished number nine. Yeah, and you said if anybody had that, something different, so I don't know. You okay. said they would, so. <laughs> you said, no, well, yours is different because you want a whole nother number. <laughs> oh, okay. That's for sure. <laughs> so you don't have nothing different? Oh, if a number nine, what statement did Jesus make? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I got that. I got number nine. Let me just turn the page. Because I had already went on. I thought we was on 10. Um, <sighs> well, he said uh, that the counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send, he will send this in, in his name. And that's basically the same thing that you guys said to remind us and to teach us. Mm -hmm. She's doing very well. Amen. So and now I did it. say something different too. I bet she okay. on the 10. <laughs> Hallelujah. I just said, remember that Jesus gave his followers a similar authority when he said, I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, yeah. Like, that was the part I was gonna read, but I said it's, it's gonna yeah, I was first. like, why didn't you? I knew you had that, but I was like, yes, because I mean it was a lot of like you said, things that just stuck out. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, we yeah, yeah. I thought you said that, Keisha, because I did have that in front of what you said. Yeah, I look, I put I even put the word back you up. This is gonna back you up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the question asked is how was it gonna back you up? I thought this is gonna back you up, but I didn't say it, but I wrote yeah. it. Give you the keys of the kingdom and then whatever you lose on whatever yeah. you turn on earth. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I thought you had said that. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Man. Okay, so number 10, we on number now we on number 10. So this question goes to D. Okay, number 10. Uh-huh. Number 10 says, What did the king father promise would happen when Lucifer and the kingdom of darkness are totally defeated? And my answer was, once Lucifer and the kingdom of darkness are totally defeated by the king of heaven, he will have, he will have. The king has promised that there will be a new heaven and earth in which we will fully reflect the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Amen. Amen. And, that's, and that's a reference in reference to Genesis 11. Mm -hmm. Amen. I had the same thing I just added, the home of the righteous. <laughs> All right. Amen. 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 And I did too, Keisha, because I just put heaven and a new earth in the home of the righteous. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I also put um, he will wipe every tear from your eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of yes. things have passed away. And yes. then he who has seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 We can't wait for that's what we're waiting for. Come yes. on now. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's, it's funny because I was just talking to somebody about that today. Like, yeah. Ooh, they ain't got to worry about nothing. No bills. No, you know what I'm saying? Thinking about my mom and just thinking. I'm nothing. Now, I you mean, know what I'm saying? What you going to eat, what you going to wear. Even though God tell us that, it's up there word too, but they ain't got no worries. None. Yeah. Rejoicing. Yeah. I just Amen. added back back to the beginning because he just wants us to go back. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be like Genesis back in the garden. There was no sin. Yeah. No sin. Just beautiful. His, his right. government, the original plan, the original blueprint. Amen? Amen. I never had that understanding until I started reading this book. I just never did. I don't know why, but I, I never connected <laughs> the two. <laughs> okay, so number 11 goes to Wanda. Yes, ma'am. Okay, number 11 reads, what is the fourth resort of reconnection? And um, my answer is, um, fourth is impossible to, to really be in the kingdom of God and not experience change. There is a... Uh, okay, yeah, uh, just change, experience change. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yes, I was, yeah. title and that's I, it. That's it. <laughs> amen. Okay. Amen. <laughs> amen. 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 And I would say ditto if I had that too. Amen. <laughs> I was getting carried away. Amen. Amen. Okay. okay. Amen. So, I, I put transformation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else added something or got something else? Well, is, I, oh, you go know ahead. the you okay, know. well, I, I just said the same what Sister Taylor said, transform outlook on life. Yeah, I had to re I had change in the way we think, a transform mm -hmm. outlook on life yeah. and a renewing of the mind, no mm -hmm. more mindset on rebellion. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And I have 
Our outlook is to be transformed by a thorough understanding and reception of the mind and ways of the king. And through being receptives to the governor's instruction and leading in our lives. If we try to deal with life from the mindset we're used to, we'll fall back on thinking that it's not in line with the kingdom. We need the governor to teach us the ways of the king. Amen. 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 And this is Amen. this is one thing um I ain't gonna say it was I guess it wasn't like a revelation to me because you know when people say they saved, right? Spirit filled and Full of the Holy Ghost or whatever they be saying, baptized, whatever, whatever that little saying is. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But you know, you know, they go to church, they go through the motions, they do whatever they need to do. But you know, outside of the church, their lifestyle hasn't changed. So can you say, are they really saved? Because you know, if you are from reading this and what the Bible tells us, that you're going to be transformed. So if you are not transforming and your lifestyle is not changing, you're not connected to the Holy Spirit because that's the you're going to change. There's like this thing. It's impossible to say really? that you are part of the kingdom and you are not changing. You are not trying yeah. to line up with the word of God. So when you see people out there still clubbing, still drinking, still smoking, still this, this all these things, and all of it going to come at, it's a process. I'm not saying it happens overnight. Sometimes it does, but God works on every individual. But yeah. something should be changing. <laughs> something should be changing. The things that you used to do, you ain't going to want to do them no more. By exactly. Deep, not even, you're not going to even miss it. You ain't going to be like, oh, I used to be able to do that. It's going to be like, girl, please. Ooh, I don't remember. I can't believe I was doing that. You know, it's going to yeah. be like that. You're going to start to detest it, actually. At least I do. Yeah. The stuff that I used to do, I'll be like, what was wrong with me? Yeah. Right? Like, I used to do that. Oh my God, Lord, I'm so shamed. <laughs> but mm. you know, life really does change. And so when you see people outward appearance and you know that is not lining up, they can do their mouth work all the time. This is why the Lord says you will know them by their fruit. Mm. How are they acting? What are they, right. how, how are they behaving outside of the church walls or as pastor used to say, offline? You know, that offline talking and you still fussing and cussing and doing all this. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So you'd be like, you know, because you know about their fruit. You know about their fruit, right? Because they are not lining up with the scriptures. You're not, you, that, ain't te that ain't Jesus teaching. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I just thought that that was like very powerful to me because it's so many people that wear a t-shirt in a minute that say hashtag Jesus or hashtag bless, represent God all day, but ain't representing them. If you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You're representing them with your lips, but your lifestyle ain't lining up. And I'm right. just, just leave it right there because I know plenty. I used to be one of them. Okay. Uh, but it's, it's the truth, Keish. There will be. And that's why I just kind of just put tra <clears throat> transformation because there will be. You will Ooh. not be the same. Right. And, and that's why it says old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. It's gonna like you said. It's kind of gonna be like foreign to you. Like you put it real good. Like, ooh, I used to do that. Oh my God! And and you just like forgive me, Lord, Father. I was you know I was wrong. Forgive me for I. And we also have to bring it to aspect of you know what you just said. We all fall short of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. So we all have something. That right. Sister Rokisha is not saying that she's perfect in what she does, but what she's saying is there should be some type of change. You're yeah. going to be able to see it. There, You're not going to want to do, like you said, girl, let's go to the club. Oh, girl, the club. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't I don't want to go there. And, and it's just like, you don't even, it, it's, it's, it's foreign to you. You know what I'm saying? The things that you used to do now, they are just like foreign. Yeah, I used to. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I was coming and I was up in come get it. Say, come on, girl, let's go get high. Oh, Ooh. girl. <laughs> right, Ooh. I didn't get high. Anyway, you but, you, uh, but I'm just saying, or come right. on, girl, let's go gamble for you. Or come on, girl, let's right. go have a drink. Or you know, yeah. gamble. But I'm just saying, like, like it's just go. like things. Even I don't know. You just don't want to do it because yeah. it's a do lifestyle. It. Just yeah, like what is. you said, the lifestyle that, that that the other people are saying, I'm saved, but it doesn't show. You but you back there, it. but you out there you twice with half the tail hanging out. I don't think so. Yeah, Not your lifestyle will change. change. I don't think so. Yeah. Half naked <laughs> out the streets. I don't think so. That don't look safe to me. Well, yeah, Not so even that. And they had to go from rotten to bad to good. 
Yeah. I, I'm jumping in at the bad to good. Mine was never really rotten. Rotten. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I mean, but God can save everybody. Like I said, everybody has their own journey and their own process yeah. of him delivering them from whatever it is that they get delivered from. Yeah. And, if, and it, then this is another thing, too. And if you still do have issues or God is still trying to deliver you from something, that should be between you and God. You shouldn't flaunt it in the street because you may cause Don't your take, yes. partner to stumble. stumble. Yes. Mm -hmm. So right. if you still struggling alcohol or drinking or fornicating or whatever don't be calling your boot thing talking about on my way when you with your church folks or whatever you know what you're doing yeah. but don't put that before people so they yeah. can someone be like oh that's what christians do it's cool to do that keep that between you and god and let him deliver you mm -hmm. and that's that exactly don't take it to the street yes and but, that's how that scripture comes out to tell you when you see your brother or sister that have fallen you don't go 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 in on them like you pick them up. Yeah, pray like, for them. Oh, come right. on, I got to get you up out of here. Let's go. Like, this ain't, like you know that what I'm saying? It ain't you. So, a, a lot of times people take scriptures out of context, and it's mm -hmm. like that ain't what that scripture is telling you. That scripture ain't telling you to go and call Sister Rokisha and say, "Girl, you know how I just saw her. She was in the gutter. I did get her out, but I, that's not what you're supposed to do. You pick up your brother and your sister, and you." preach the word to them at that moment and you get them up out of that situation. You don't leave them there in that because you already know, like you said, that ain't them. Okay, they slipped up. So let me help them out. But yeah, when you're in the world, you you, you will do things, say things. Like you said, when you ain't changed and transformed, renewed, have that renewed mind, you'll still revert back to the world. Amen. And that's what the book is saying. So you have to get saved because that's not being saved. It's not. I'm sorry. I don't care. I'm, I'm not here to debate the word of God. I'm just here to obey it. Okay. Forgive me for laughing, but that's so true. It's like you're not saved. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry to tell you. You're not saved. Doing all that. I'm trying to learn as much as I can. Okay. Um, who just answered that? I feel like I did, but hard to be I did. Okay, so Ann, you're next with number what 12? Yes, you're right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. With a transformed outlook, there is a realignment of the proper functioning of a person's spirit, soul, and body. Amen. That's so true. Amen. 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 Yes. All right. Everybody got that? Amen. 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 Okay. Let's go to number 13. Um. Frankie, this is you. Yeah, I'm not sure I got it right, but I said um, number 13, what is the fifth result of reconnection? And I said new courage and confidence um, receiving the Holy Spirit. Give me some. Amen. 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 Give me some. Amen. Amen. That's what I said. I got something different. See, I got something. That's all right. Amen. Go on, Keisha. I got that too. Okay, so oh, what I got because he stopped and he stopped numbering at some point. So he I just did. My own. <laughs> he didn't do five or six. Yeah. And I said, so I don't know. This is just what's standing out to me for my number five. Okay. I mean, what number is it? Number 13. 13. Connection. Yeah. So my 13, it says, what is the fifth result of reconnection? I put, he reveals to us the thoughts and ways of the king so we can understand and follow them. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. That's what I. That's what I put. <laughs> number thirteen. I put that too. Wasn't that right here? Right, Frankie. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Akita, and where did can you? you... Go ahead, Taylor. What? Oh no! If, if I was gonna say, once everybody finished, can you have um, Frankie read that yeah, first paragraph with courage and confidence? Yeah. 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 Because I have, I have, a, I have to read right there on, on mine. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <know. laughs> I want you to read, Frankie. Look at God. Okay. See, we do it all the time. He stops this. I need to read it where it says. I got a couple of places that say read on it. Oh. Uh, that remember, right? That's where you want me to start? No. The no, no, under it. Yes. Oh, all, of new, all of that. Yes, ma'am. Okay. The new courage and confidence. Jesus' disciple John taught first century kingdom citizens what he had learned from the master teacher. Mm -hmm. You, dear children, are from God and have overcome the kingdom of darkness mm -hmm. because the one who is in your who is in you, the governor, is greater than the one who is in the world. 
Lucifer and his followers. Mm -hmm. When the spirit lives within you, heaven is your home country and you have its authority and power. There is nothing or no one in the world who has more power and resources than the king. Therefore, you don't need to be threatened by anyone on earth who tries to intimidate or harm you. Mm -hmm. Luke, the physician, recorded Jesus' teaching on this. My friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body and after that can do no more. Mm -hmm. But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear him who, after the killing of the body, has power to throw you into hell. Mm -hmm. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten by God. Indeed, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than, that, than many sparrows. I tell you, whoever acknowledges me before men, the son of man, will also acknowledge him before the angels of God. Amen. 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 That was yeah. so good. That's so good. Mm -hmm. I wanted that to be read because people need to know we got the authority. If you right. have the Holy Spirit living within you, you have authority and you have power. God says we should, yeah, don't fear nothing. Yeah, yeah. Right. No. Mm -mm. Right. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, no, man, nothing but love, okay? So if you <laughs> fear is a part of owing him something to me, so you don't owe him nothing but love. My Lord, thank you, Jesus. Come on. Amen. Okay, number, who is number 14? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, hey, Wood, this on you, girl. Um, why is the fear of man a snare to the kingdom citizen? And I found that on page 154. 153. 153? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Last paragraph. Just yeah, read that probably, last paragraph. Right. I got it down here. I say the fear of man is a snare to us as kingdom citizens because it will cause us to live by mindset and standards other than the kingdom. We won't be acting in authority and power, but is but in worry and um, Timothy. Uh, say that word. Timidity means timid. You'll be timid. Timid. Read with power, girl, so people can hear you. <laughs> okay. Paul wrote, the key has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. We can compose all in all circumstances because we know that the king lives within us through the presence of the governor. Glory. Amen. 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 Okay. That's why I had to stop because I knew when I was like, we fear no man, I was getting into the next question. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's <laughs> yours. That's, that's yours, number 15. Come on, Taylor. Don't even listen to them. Listen to God. What is the sixth uh, result of reconnection? Like Sister Rokisha said, he started not numbering them anymore. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory yeah. to God. <laughs> so it made you just really start reading and, you know, okay. So I put reconnection, a uh, no. Yeah, reconnection to life's purposes. And then I put communication with the heavenly government. Amen. Okay. Amen. See, I put something different. Amen. <laughs> yeah, who got what Taylor got? Me. Yeah. Okay, okay Beverly. All right. I have <laughs> and I put I have just slightly. Go ahead, Frankie. What you got? I said our assignment for who we are, who we our assignment for which we were born and our life's purpose. Amen. That's more like what I got to. I put that mm -hmm. first paragraph, that first sentence was my answer. Basically, it says, when the governor comes to live within a person, he helps connect him to the assignment for which he was born. Amen. Right? And we don't know if that's fine because he didn't, I mean, he didn't say <laughs> it was, but that's what stood out to me because it yeah. was a different change of subject. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Okay, what you got, D? Same thing. The sixth result of reconnection is life's purpose, connecting a person to the assignment for which he or she has was born. Amen. Amen. Okay, and what you got again, Ann? Oh, I got the same thing. I got the reconnection to life's purpose and that first sentence there. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, would you got something different? No, I got that same thing. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Amen. 
It was back to me, Lord Jesus. Okay, where we at? 16. Another one of them? <laughs> okay, let me see. Number 16. Oh, okay, I got this one. It says, how did Dr. Monroe define dream, a dream and a vision? Dream is something you can see being accomplished in the future, even if you don't live to see it completed. And a vision is something you can see to do, which you can, which you can complete in your lifetime. Amen. 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 I got that too. Yeah. All right. Amen. So, Everybody got that? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. 17 is um, D. Okay, number 17 says, the king makes us all rulers in the realms of our particular giftings. Amen. 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 Thank you, right. Father. You see that? In the realm of our own giftings. Not nobody else's gift. Not what she right. do. Not what he do. Not what God is individually giving us our own particular giftings. Amen? Amen. Amen. And I know what mine is. So I'm happy with Amen. it. Amen. 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 Um, who next? Wanda Riri? Uh -huh. Number, number 18. True. Read the, people don't know Read what's true. <laughs> Read it. <laughs> oh, 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 the governor came to give you a vision or a dream that only you can help accomplish, as well as the power of accomplish it as your special work on earth. True. Amen. True. Amen. Who is correct? Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's why he made us all individuals. Otherwise, we'd be like robots around here, all everybody doing the same thing. Right. Amen. Right. Yeah. Somebody, look, somebody got to be good in math. <laughs> <laughs> Why not be me? Yeah. Okay. I'm not. I'm just saying I ain't good. So somebody better be. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, right? You know, because everybody, you know, artists, you know, everybody has is, their guests. Yes. You have your own particular thing you're supposed to bring here. Right. Okay. Because I ain't with all that programming and computer bits and motherboards and all that stuff that ain't my thing you know you gotta do it somebody gotta do it okay so number 19 is um and okay it says um what is the seventh result of reconnection and i put communication with the heavenly governor finally but very important the return of the governor gives us the ability to communicate with the heavenly governor Man. and the government. And then what the king intends for earth is to be transmitted by the governor to his vast, to his vice governors and to be executed on earth through the ruler, rulership. And then also wrote the governor, the governor is the agent of the revelation of God's mind to the earth through humanity's dominion. That's what I wrote. Well, oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Power for living in the kingdom life. Mm -hmm. Power for living in the kingdom life. Amen. What number was this? 19. 19. Uh -huh. 19. Yeah, 19. see, I didn't get that. I had, I had some different, too. Okay, that's good. Okay, come on, Frankie, what you got? I said the power for living the kingdom life. That was our what you got, Wanda Riri? I got, I put the first paragraph on page 154, which says, in addition, you can be cleansed and receive the governor, but not understanding that he wants to give you power for living the kingdom life. Amen. And, and I put, it says, what is the seventh result of reconnection? I said, to empower you to work, to impact the earth through your vision or dream. <laughs> Everybody oh, Amen. Everybody I'm, 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 I'm taking the power. And I put, power. see, everybody did put some <laughs> glory to God. Yeah. Finally, but very importantly, the return of the governor gives us the ability to communicate with the heavenly government. We can bring the kingdom of heaven to earth and have dominion over the earth only if we are receiving clear instruction from the king. 
Amen. Amen. That's what I had. That's giving you power. Power. Or living the kingdom life. That's it. Right. And bringing it to yeah, earth. I've read. Okay, and so this is your question. Can you read on page 154, <laughs> that last paragraph? Yeah, the whole paragraph. Read that in okay, the Okay, mine was uh, on 155, but I'll read 154. Yeah, my, it goes to 155, so I got I got 19, and then I got 19. This yeah. is rolled over. Yeah. I got the, that two paragraphs on page yes. 155. But on 154, it says, in addition, you can be cleansed and receive the governor, but not understand that he wants to give you power for living the kingdom life. You therefore spend all your time fighting against attitudes and desires that are contrary to the kingdom. Instead of overcoming them through the authority and power of the spirit so that you can do the important work for which you were born. His power should work through you so you can show evidence that your life is under the influence of the kingdom. The governor can came to empower you for work. He yeah. is here to impact the earth for heaven through your vision of dream or yes. dream. That was part of my answer. So keep going, Ann, where your answer goes. Keep going. Okay, then it says communicating, communication with the heavenly governor. Finally, but very important, the return of the governor gives us the ability to communicate with the heavenly government. We are we can bring the kingdom of heaven to earth and have dominion over the earth only if we are receiving clear instructions from the king. Mm -hmm. The kingdom can function. The kingdom can function in delegated authority only if the purpose, will, and intent of the king are being transmitted to that delegated authority. Amen. Amen. King, Amen. King, oh, you want me to? No, continue? keep going. Just finish it out. Yep. What the king intends for earth is to be transmitted by the governor to his vice governors and to be executed on earth through their rulership. Whenever the governor is not present or the communications of the government governor is ignored, the practical rulership of the king is absent on earth. Some, present, some presence of the government has to exist. This is why the Holy Spirit is the key to the kingdom of heaven on earth. The governor is the agent of the revelation of God's mind to the earth through Humanity's dominion. Come on. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Okay. Um, Lord. Who next? Frankie, you got number 20. 20. Number 20, um, just to make it short, it said, what two avenues give us complete access to the king, to the father, and enable us to know his will for us? And I said number one was Jesus, and number two was the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wait, Amen. what'd you say, Frankie? Jesus and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and I put it the opposite. The Holy Spirit. I did, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, Hallelujah. Came he, came and he, the, he, he came what first you put, he stepped behind the Holy I said, Spirit. <laughs> I don't know. This is what I put. It says, what two avenues gives us complete access to the Father and enable us to know his will for us? I said, prayer and worship. Oh, I said. I said prayer Jesus because God. that's our form of communication to him, right? Yeah. Don't yeah, we speak to him that way? That's our form of communication. So that's one avenue to get your instructions. Pray. But, yes, but, but I, can't, but we I, can't well, go I was to God without the Holy Spirit. Going Jesus. Yeah, and that's the one. The Holy Spirit. Spirit. <laughs> Jesus came first, and he left the Holy Spirit. Left. He left him. So that's that, but, but I did say the Holy Spirit. Didn't even Spirit. get to the Father through, without going through the Son. Yeah. But I said, but I said only, I said, but only if we are able to receive clear instructions from our Father. Amen. And that's going to be through Amen. prayer and worship. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Amen. Who else? Somebody else has something else? Let me do slash prayer and worship. Let me put that there. <laughs> well, I put, uh, we cannot have an audience with the King's Father unless we go through the King's Son, mm -hmm. who opened the way for us. Uh, by his substitutionary death 
And then the second one I put, unless we do so through the power of the governor, who is our means of speaking with and hearing from, um, the, uh, the king's son clears you. And when you are relying on the governor to communicate your requests and desires, you can go straight to the king's father's throne. Yeah, go straight to the king's father's throne room in the inner courts of the palace. Amen. Well, well, I, I, well, I, I was looking at it that um, when it said access. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, avenues. Ac me too. Access to the father is knowing the truth. And we all That's know right. that Jesus is the truth, right? <laughs> yeah, and he's the connector. He's the mediator between. The Holy Spirit is the connector. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, why, and I, that's why I said Jesus and the, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. That's why I did too. <laughs> Frankie, I think when I read it, I was like, what two avenues? <laughs> Ain't no other way we can get there. Because that's right. Like, like you said, Jesus, and then he left the Holy Spirit for us. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But I, yeah. I believe that even what Keith said, that, that's yeah. a blessing. See how these lessons bring us and we all read into it. And I know, that's what God does, though. He wants to make sure that we all see, you know, see it differently because there was no wrong answer to me to this. Even yeah. what D said. It was like, yeah. Well, yeah, you know. that, that Holy Spirit leads us to your prayer and um, worship. worship. Well, I mean, because right. I was reading it, it was saying, you know, prayer, that's our form of communication, mm -hmm. which gives us access to God because we have to talk to him. And then the worship makes sure that you're in alignment so you can yes. receive the power. So if yeah. you're not worshiping him to be able to hear that, because worship brings you in alignment. Brings it into, yeah. Right. So right. that's giving right. you access. So can that's I say why. something? Yeah, but when it's mm -hmm. just really quick, um, you know, when I be studying, I, I sometimes I, I say, okay, I studied enough, and the Holy Spirit say, you ain't never studied enough. <laughs> See, that's what He say to me. You ain't never studied enough. You're gonna have steady support. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> right, Sister Frankie, what was you gonna say? I said that's that's where the Holy Spirit come in with your prayer and worship because He gonna put you to your knees. Yeah, he will. Yeah, he will. He will. He will. He will. Jesus. Oh yeah. <laughs> Especially because, like, if, if you do it in that order, like you said, mm -hmm. you pray and then you worship. You right, Frankie. Bring it to your knees. <laughs> oh yeah. And then it, and it bring it enters his presence. It, 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 the it, Holy it, Spirit comes in. It's just yes. like yeah, yeah. It, it 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 sets the atmosphere for him to dwell. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's I mean, all it, there. That's just like when you do go to church, and <laughs> you have praise and worship first. Reason being is because it's ringing in you so in. that you can get ready to receive the word that's coming through. Right. You ain't blocking nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because even mm. if if you go somewhere and you know, uh, <laughs> ooh, that that now that ain't word. That ain't right. You know, I because mm. <laughs> right. you are the spirit right. is already there. You know right. what I mean? Because you've been mm -hmm. praising and worship, and it's like, okay, I'm ready to receive what's getting ready to be said. And if it ain't coming across right, you like it. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> and <then> right. Right. <laughs> you, know, right. you said sometime the Holy Spirit said, told me to send this to you and you just send it and don't say nothing. Yeah. I listen. And, and it'd be right on time. Yes. Yes. Tears start falling and you start thinking, praying and, and worshiping. Yeah. Right. 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 Because I don't, yeah, it was a oh, couple of times. Yeah told me send Frankie this song. I didn't know what you was yeah. doing, but I was obedient. I was like, okay. She sent me the song and all I did was hit the play button. <laughs> and when and I play button, play button, tears started streaming out my eyes because Keisha knew, not that she knew, but the Holy Spirit knew I needed to hear that. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo, that's connection. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> And yes. I and, and Keisha, I said that I was saying to myself, "Thank you, Lord Jesus, for Keisha sending that." She ain't said a word to me. Uh -huh. Sometimes <laughs> you don't have. Uh -huh. to talk. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then she just said, "Thank you." <laughs> and I'm Mark's back or something like that. I do that to Taylor too sometimes. I was gonna say, Keisha, do it to me too, and I'd be like, Keish, that's just all me and my mama used to listen to." <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Okay, I think we almost was that the last question? It's no, no, going. it's one more. Okay, so hey, okay. it's on you. Yeah, you number 20. No, we still we on number 20. 21. Okay, 21. Go ahead. Okay, let me read it. It says list several aspects of the nature of worship in relation to 
to the Wish King to, Father um, uh, and Wish the to. outworking of his government on earth. Mm -hmm. So I found that on page 157, and it says, worshiping the King <laughs> is another form of communication with the heavenly government. Many people have many worships into a ritual, has made uh, worship into a ritual. I need to pull my glasses down. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so when many people have made worship into a ritual, when it's really about keeping it right in right relationship with the king, it is a means by which we remain in constant connection and communication with our sovereign and honor and honor his government. Which it protects us from establishing our own kingdom on earth rather than the heavenly government because we acknowledge and confirm to the king that his desires and will are paramount. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We affirm his government interests are the ultimate reason for our existence. And I'm gonna leave it there. Okay, I'm gonna get none of that. That's what I had. I had mm. the same thing. What, Keish, what you get? I mean, I just did I had something different. Right? I had mm -hmm. page 156. Some, and and yeah. I went into 157, but I started. Okay, y'all go ahead. Okay, this is what I put. It says, okay. there's several aspects of the nature of worship and relationship to King Father and the outward working of his government on earth. And I just put bullet points because it said list them. And yeah, I said, yeah. right, right. I said protect or keep us from establishing our own kingdom. That was one bullet. Mm -hmm. Second bullet, it affirms our assignment on earth to know our purpose. Next bullet, keep us in right relationship with the king. Next bullet, Constant connection and communion with the king. Those were my aspects. Those are good. I don't know what <laughs> I was like. I don't know what she did way I read some of Well, that. she just read the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. So what you, you had the same thing, D? I did, but I put it in six bullet points. Okay, read them, girl. Well, it's the same thing, uh, but it's no. my first bullet point is worshiping the king is another form of communication with the heavenly government. Bullet two, when it's ab about keeping in right relationship with the king. Uh, third one, by which we remain in constant connection and communion with our sovereign and honor uh, his government. Four, worship protects us from uh, establishing our own kingdoms on earth rather than the heavenly governments. Five, because we are, we acknowledge and confirm to the king that his desires and will are paramount. And the last one, we affirm that his government's interests are the ultimate reason for our existence. Amen. Amen. And that was on page 157. Amen. 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 That's so cute. I bullet pointed it. I, I didn't. I, I. <laughs> because it said list. It said list. It like comma, comma, comma. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's why oh, I did the bullet points. I, I don't know, maybe mine wasn't right, but I no, go right. no, it's no right or wrong. Okay, I, it yeah. said list several aspects of the nature of worship in relation but to. You didn't the, even have to get uh, that from the book. You could have just yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, I started on I started on one fifty six, and I said um, a. I did a b c d. <laughs> okay, so that was a list. <laughs> I said a right. was um, the presence of the governor, mm -hmm. B, B, hearing mm -hmm. from the king, C, was prayer, and D, was able to receive instructions. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on, C. Amen. All right. <laughs> That's a list? Yes. <laughs> right. What you got, Ann? Well, I put, I went way out. I mean, I just. No right or wrong, Beverly. What you put? You ain't got to explain yourself. <laughs> I put worship God in spirit and truth, reverence, okay. honor, and homage to God, mm -hmm. belief in Jesus as the son of God, to be thankful for the sacrifices of Christ that provided 
our salvation. And then I put God is spirit. He's internal. He's unchangeable in his being. He has wisdom, power, holiness, justice, and goodness. And then for the second part of it is what I put in that first, that keeping in right relationship, the one that Sister Frances read. Mm -hmm. I put that part as the second part of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's excellent. Amen. Well done. Eight yeah. plus Eight plus Amen. Amen. Taylor, did you do yours? Oh, I, I, I didn't list because I, 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 I don't even, uh, I'm not going to front. I highlight throughout my whole book. And I write the page number. I write, and then sometimes I'll just write something like in Jesus name or transformation. Or, it's yeah. a whole hot mess. Yeah, it's see, I, I'm, I don't do all that. Look at this. I do it's like that. Yeah, put, I, I'm not writing all that. The I, and the page number. Oh, y'all good. See, I, got, good. I got my page. This is the, this is the yeah, I got the page got numbers from. right. That's what I'm saying. And I, I highlight, I put the page number. I may write down dream and vision so I'll I know like, I go there. Or... Number 16, number 21. Yeah. I, that's where I find it yeah, at. That's what I do. And I highlight. Oh, yeah. oh, my, and my number E was worshiping the king. I forgot <laughs> I had it over there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Yeah, I like to write it because it makes it stick for me better. Like, yeah. Yeah, for me, I like to write it. But oh, no, I, you know, I if, it, if it's too much to write, I'll just put the, like you did and then just know that's the answer. That whole paragraph. <laughs> Don't be write that. But if it's some little, you didn't even write your um body, soul, and spirit in? Yes, I wrote all that. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I will write stuff like that. Yeah, but like <laughs> I wrote for, I wrote on number 19, I wrote on number 20, I wrote on number 17, I wrote on number 11, 13, 15. And then I always write and you the number know it's one like out. in two different paragraphs. It's like I'm not about to write all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I put, you know, yeah. You know, I summarize it if it's in two different paragraphs. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the lesson that y'all write it out. Yeah. 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 I, I write it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll pray that uh, the other sister come back. I miss her. The nurse. Oh. What's her name? Nicole, you really miss Nicole. her. You got her name. <laughs> I, know, I, I know her face. That's not true. I, I know her face, you know. Yeah. Get 70 and, and see how many names you remember, baby girl. I'm going to remember everything because I'm going to speak no, you life. <laughs> you already <know. laughs> Now. <laughs> I'm going to come back and get some of this. This is good. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. I'm the one who threw the book on the bed several times, screaming, "Why did she buy this? Why did she buy this?" But now I know. <laughs> it's good to be. The first two chapters was a little challenging because we had to get in the right mind frame to receive. And I think once we understood what the governor was and start understanding and not looking at it like the colony and governor, but he had to use an earthly example that was practical so we can understand the structure of how heaven was. Um, are yeah. operating in the spiritual realm so that was nice for background information for us to move forward but it was a little struggle in the beginning so yeah we pretty much done y'all i enjoyed this lesson very very much so i'm learning something every week every week i'm learning something even though it's stuff that i've already read i will say not necessarily oh i guess it is learning but i'm having more of an understanding understanding, understanding. Yeah. so i'm learning and understanding the operation of the purpose and the power of the Holy Spirit. And he just fills it out so well, especially with his examples. And then he backs it up with scripture. So I just love it because I get it. I have, I get it. I understand. So that's just awesome. You can't, you know, private type of study. And then you have your own time to reflect and read it over and dig up scriptures. And you're just not like on the spot where you just have a minute. You have a whole week to just delight in it. So I just love it. And you know, Sister Rokisha, I like the way he has put placed uh, in the back of the book, starting on page 261, the scripture references yeah. to each chapter. Uh, yeah. That has been a great help as well. Yeah, yeah. it has. And then the next book we're going to do, well, I'm going to talk about it later on, but it has the page number where you can find the answers this time. So we won't have to be doing all that searching. It'll tell you, go to page this. So it'll be a whole lot easier for us. So. Well, thank you. Oh, the prayer book. Thank yeah. him. I forgive you. <laughs> so he must have got some complaints like, what? How? You need to help us out. 
Put them, throw it. <laughs> no, take it. Throw it in the book. I, I don't like to have the answer in the book because I'm go go look. You know, we I'm not, go look. But I'd like to just. I don't want to know the answer. Yeah, but I mean, I, I want to know the answer. Just tell you the page. You still have to find the answer. Right, but I know, like how we did the blessings and curses. It gave us the answer. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. Right. We didn't have to yeah. go. Look. So I like to look and really study, not just. Okay, it's B. No. Like stuff. But oh. even with that, even though it gave us the answers, we were still able to do a little bit more. Um, yeah, on our own. Yeah. Side. Like yeah. Then, then with this one. So it, it, yeah. it's good that the books are giving us different ways of, you know, learning, different yeah. ways right. of right. finding the answers, different. You're going to have to read into it. So you, right. you know that right. regardless to if, the page number is there. You still got to read it. You right. it. That's, that's the thing perfect. about studying. Yeah, it's like you right. can't just be. Which lesson was we learning when it said don't now don't don't be glancing over talking about either you know you, know, you, know, word. you have to you have to right. And, and then you, sometimes I read and all your getting get an understanding. You better. <laughs> So sometimes right. I read it one and two times, two, three times, and be like, well, that was good. And now read it real slow. Because y'all know I'll be underlining. Y'all know how I'll be doing my study. And to me, to this one was really good. This yeah. lesson was really good. I told Sister, um, Sister Haywood huh? that it was good. She's like, it's long. I said, girl, yeah, it's really good, though. Long. Because yeah. once you get started, you ain't going to want to put it down. Trust me. Exactly. Yeah. I, I know. <laughs> I didn't put it down. I didn't even throw it on the bed. <laughs> I told you. I just took two days to do it. <laughs> and then y'all, y'all, well, tell you what I did stop. And then y'all not even getting all the meat and potatoes we get. You just getting the answer. It's a whole lot we didn't read that you don't even know. So you don't have to get the book because, yeah, that's how we're doing I it. I have a confession, Sister Brokey. Okay. Is it that appropriate, video? Sister Haywood, or should we end the video? End the video. <laughs> Yeah, let me end the video. We love y'all because we're going to let Sister Haywood tell her story. So we gonna end this tonight. We love you guys. We thank you for participating. I know y'all be like, no, we want to hear. No, you're not going to hear. Okay? <laughs> so we're going to end it tonight. We thank you all. Please keep following us. All right? It's, it's getting better and better every week. And trust me, I would highly recommend this book. I would highly recommend this book. It's been it's been life changing for me. I've been saying that about every single book because it's the truth for me and my walk. So I love you guys. Continue to watch, like, share, and subscribe because we are moving with because <laughs> we are moving with purpose. Where are you guys? Oh, here. Oh,